You know, okay, you know how in a deck of cards there are like three or four instruction cards that you always have to throw out before you play a game? Uh-huh. It's, it's like a sculpture stack of those cards uh-huh. in the shape, I guess it could only be like a salamander? <laughs> or like a gecko, I guess, it would be a gecko. <laughs> Either you're helping her with this lie. That's how charming you are. It's, no, it's like a, it's like a... Those blue eyes, charming everyone. They're green. <laughs> that was a bust. That was a bust. What? Because now I know. What? You lie! Ah, I did lie! Yeah! Wouldn't it be cool if a robot could do that? Hi, I'm Dario Pasquali, PhD student at the Italian Institute of Technology. And today I'm going to show you how ICAP can do it autonomously. For a robot, leading such interaction is not easy. The robot should assess somehow the internal state of the human partner and use this information to take consistent decisions. We asked ourselves if a robot can autonomously lead a human-robot interaction based on the real-time assessment of the partner's internal state. Such skill could help robots in multiple domains. For instance, robots for entertainment usually rely on the Wizard of Oz control configuration. Sensing in humans, they could become more autonomous. In a more realistic application, robots in tutoring, caregiving, rehabilitation or security could provide better support or intervention while preserving the informality of the interaction. In order to answer our research question, we took inspiration from the Box of Lies TV show and designed our own magic trick. In this card game, players describe six cards to ICAM, lying about one of them. We use Dixit cards since they are meant to stimulate creative thinking. And after the last description, ICAM detects the false one based on players' cognitive load. Let's see a video. Describe your secret card in a deceitful and creative way. For the others, describe just what you see. So, in this card, uh, there are um, a group of children that are playing uh, with their ball uh, in, uh, in the park. There are a lot of uh, colorful uh, flowers uh, and in the bench next, uh, there is a group of uh, grandparents that are looking uh, after them. In this card, uh, there is uh, an old man, I think uh, an old king, that is sitting uh, on a golden throne and he has uh, a very long uh, beard uh, that, he, that it becomes a river um, in the, on the carpet in front of him. Let me think. It is this one. Right? Yes. ICAP was able not only to let the game autonomously, it also detected the correct secret card of the player, and it could do it thanks to the hand-to-hand -hand architecture we developed. The game is divided in robot and player's turn. ICAP tracks them by detecting the number of blue and green blobs in the scene. And what about the lie detector? Detecting lies is pretty hard for a human, but maybe not for a robot. Indeed, when you lie, you have an increase on your cognitive load, which reflects on biological proxies like your pupil dilation. The Toby streamer catches players' pupil data from the Toby Pro Glasses 2 eye tracker and streams them in real time at 10 Hz. The cumbersome calibration of the device is not needed to measure the pupil, so we decided to skip it. For each card, ICAP computes the mean pupil dilation during the description and corrects it with a baseline value. The pupil dilation is proportional to your cognitive load. Following this idea, we designed a super simple heuristic. The false description is the one related to the highest mean pupil dilation among the six. 
We played the game with 39 participants, and ICAB detected the correct card in real time with an accuracy of 88.2% against a chess level of 16. All the participants reported they had fun, and this is true even if ICAP failed to detect the card and also in the presence of technical issues. It's supposed to the pupil dilation proved to be a reliable method to detect lies during an ecological fun human robot interaction. As you can see, the pupil dilation is higher when you lie, but only during the card description. This is normal with respect to the state of the art of lie detection. Even removing the split in turns, the system still works with an accuracy of 85%. However, the system is still limited. We depend on the Toby 8 tracker, which needs a constant illumination to work properly. Also, the architecture does not allow unexpected behaviors from the players, like multiple lies. To compensate for the illumination changes, we corrected each data point with respect to the mean pupil dilation before the relative card trial. This way, we can consider each data point separately and train a machine learning model. We consider the problem as an anomaly detection and we train a one-class super vector machine. This model learns only what is true and learns to discriminate what is not. Our model is able to correctly classify a generic sentence as true or false with an F1 score of 79.6% and an ROC of 61. Summing up, we presented an end-to-end -end architecture to enable ICAM to autonomously lead an entertaining and effective HRI. We showed how the pupil dilation is a reliable metric to detect lies in an informal and ecological setup. Finally, we generalized the approach considering the problem as an anomaly detection. This is a step toward a more natural adaptation of robots' behavior based on the real-time assessment of part of their inner state. Also, it could help developing systems to detect lies in informal context. And finally, it could help the diffusion of entertaining applications on robots. And that's it! Thank you for your attention! Here are a few contacts, please send an email if you have any questions. And if you want, scan that nice QR code to read the full article. Bye!